Welcome into Bartram Trail High School as we are getting set for action between Creekside and the home Bartram Trail Bears. We are eight minutes out from tip off here at Bartram Trail High School as we get set for the battle on Longleaf Pine. I am Noah Schlicksup bringing you tonight's action live on Schlick Sports. Pre-game will get started here in two minutes when we return on Schlick Sports. Welcome into Bartram Trail High School for the Battle of Longleaf Pine. I'm Noah Schlicksa bringing you tonight's action live on Schlick Sports as we get ready for the 36th meeting between Creekside and Bartram Trail. It should be a good one tonight with two teams who are off to a good start. Creekside leads the all-time matchup 20 to 15. The Knights have won five straight since breaking their five-game losing streak against Bartram Trail in 2021. The Knights starting off this year 5-0, Bartram Trail at 2-1. Here's an interesting stat for you that I dug up when looking at the matchup history in this game. Creekside, their 15-2 all-time versus Bartram Trail when scoring 50 or more points, which in a basketball game doesn't necessarily seem like a very tough mark to hit. But this is a very good defensive basketball team under head coach Jeremiah Tusher. With that 17 games, Creekside have been able to manage 15 points. That, of course, leaves 18. They have been unable to. The key players in tonight's matchup, Nolan Nelson and Landon G. Ren, the top guys on each of these two squads, both guys who are most likely going to go on to play D1 basketball at the next level, both big, tall frames. g Ren comes in 6'4", 150. He's listed on max press, but I believe he might be a little bigger than that. He's a junior, comes in averaging 19.7 points per game while shooting 46% from the field. He's a guy to look to look out for on the offensive side of the ball for Bartram Trail for Creekside. They got Nolan Nelson, the 6'8 freshman, already offered by JU, coming off of a 22-point performance against Atlantic Coast. 
That is the third time this year he's had 19 points or more. Look out for him in the paint, and he can shoot it too if he wants to against this Bartram Trail team. I asked head coach Chris Patterson for a Creekside about guarding a guy like Landon Jiren in this matchup, and he said you can't take him away. He's in all likelihood a D1 player, so when guarding him, it's not about taking him away. It's about playing sound defense all around limiting second chance opportunities and not taking gambles defensively. I also asked head coach Chris Patterson what their keys to a victory against Bartram Trail was gonna be. He said number one, holding them to under 45 points. Number two, limiting turnovers. And number three, keeping their composure in a tough road environment like this. We are two minutes and 25 seconds away from the National Anthem and the starting lineups. We are just about set for action between Creekside and Bartram Trail when we return on Schlick Sports. Welcome here to Bartram Trail High School. We are just about set for action between the Knights and the Bears, but first we send you down to the court for the National Anthem.
and we're back. Well, we've been having audio issues. It's 6-5 early on, Bartram Trail. It's Ethan Tucker for three for Creekside, no good. Well, to set, to paint the picture again, the story I set when the mic was not quite working. It's a 36 meeting between Creekside and Bartram Trail. Knights 5-0, and their best start in six years. Last time the Knights did this, they went on to be state runner-up. They won five straight against Bartram Trail. They wanted to quiet the crowd early on. Not quite doing that. They trail by one. Three minutes into the game. Another three for the Bears. Rolls in and out. Rebounded. Shot blocked, but a foul will be called. Nolan Nelson and Alex Collier each with a foul called him early on. And Creekside will call timeout before the upcoming free throws. We're gonna keep you here during the timeout as we were dealing with some audio difficulties. Bartram Trail, they're led by head coach Jeremiah Tusher in his eighth season as Bartram head coach. His 16th overall with the Bears. Bartram comes in at two and one and coming off of a 51-46 win at St. Augustine Creekside. Undefeated, coming off of a 65-48 win versus Atlantic Coast. They're looking dangerous. They're looking like one of the better teams in the area and in their class. Creekside showing a lot of promise with their young basketball team early on this season. Just two seniors on the roster, but they got a lot of promise from top to bottom. And those two seniors in the starting lineup, Collier, and Ethan Tucker, they're big. They're leaders on this team as the first free throw good for Guerin. They help keep this team composed and that's something Creekside is striving to do tonight. In a tough environment on the road. Bartram with the ball, going on the drive, LeBee. Back out to Gear in his pass is tipped. Derek Rivers has got it in transition. Pump fake, he jumped over him and Rivers banked it in. How about that play? Gearin did a hole on hurdle of Derek Rivers. Rivers said no problem, ties it up at seven. Gearin on the other end, pressured on the three. No good off the front iron. Here comes Rivers. Rivers to Nelson, Nelson to Rivers, floater, good! Derek Rivers, you guys spent much of last season on the JV squad. He's been an impact player to say the least. That guard this year comes in averaging 10.8 per game. Been their most consistent three-point shooter, shooting 52% from beyond the arc, the junior guard. He's played really well, Is right there. He lets Sam Shields get behind him for an easy bucket. Lost track of his man as he was keeping an eye on the wing. Allowed Shields a little space to slip behind and foul on the other end. On Nolan Nelson, gives the ball back to Bartram Trail. Nelson is averaging less than one foul per game. He's got two through four minutes and 45 seconds here at Bartram Trail High School. Creekside puts their big guys, Collier and Nelson, to stay out of foul trouble. They want him to stay vertical as Collier rolls around the rim and falls in. Collier's got one, Nelson's on the bench with two.
Deza is in in Nelson's place. Creekside will normally play much more around the perimeter with Deza in. A big benefit to this team rotating with Alex and Nolan. Just a sophomore out there is on the drive. David Souza makes a move, makes it 11-11. Ethan Tucker on the drive, teardrop, nothing but net. The senior, Tucker, responds with the bucket. Barsham, normally a really good defensive basketball team. Each of these teams have been good on defense this year. Opponents averaging 48 versus Barsham is a three on the other end. Too much on it. It's 50.6 for opponents against Creekside. Bartram Trail will throw a lot of looks at you defensively is on the drive. Tucker's pass a little wild. Back to Collier with its Michelson. He finds Guerin. Back to Michelson. Left corner. Three. No good. Rebound from LaBee. Stolen away by Rivers. Rivers in transition. Brings it across half court. Right arc just inside the three-point line. No good on the jumper short. Williamson slows things down for Bartram Trail. Mentioned the head coach Jeremiah Tusher for Bartram early on. The jumper no good, very experienced in this matchup. And overall, 112 and 81 is Bartram's head coach. There's a three from Tucker, is just off. Deza keeps it in to Collier. Collier fouled on the ground. Creekside inbound the result. Brennan Lee will check back in for Kay Patterson. Lee, the sophomore. Hit a three his last game out. It's a good bounce pass from Rivers. Finds Tucker on the drive. Earns a bucket. And a chance to get one more at the line. Tucker only 5'10". But he's got hops and he's not afraid to go on the drive. And he does it with a lot of effectiveness too as Tucker who shot 80% from the free throw line so far this year. Converts on the three point play. 41 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's 16 to 11, Creekside over Bartram Trail. Williamson, Souza, top of the key, guarded by Jenkins. Susan coming off the pass from Williamson. Bucket will not count as a travel. Gives the ball back to Creekside. Barsham do a lot of things on defense. They'll give you about every zone in the book. Got a man to man in their back pocket, trapping. They'll throw everything at you as Rivers for three. No good. He loves that. Left side, top of the key, that's where he's most effective from distance is the three on the other end. Williamson, good! Jackson Williamson, his time expires in the first quarter, gets it back to a two-point game. We got a good one brewing between Creekside and Bartram Trail. Don't go anywhere. It's a two-point game heading in to the second quarter live on Schlick Sports.
back here at Bartram Trail High School where we got the Bears and the Knights battling it out. Creekside with a 16-14 lead after the first quarter of play. Bartram with the ball. Sousa's pass, stolen by Tucker. Tucker bringing it down the floor, taking it to the rack, lays it in. Ethan Tucker, aggressive to the hoop. Makes it 18-14. One of the better high school matchups in the area tonight. Always a great rivalry here between two district opponents. Just off the same road, Longleaf Pine. Bartram, head coach Jeremiah Tushar talked about this team having, they're excited for the opportunity to compete against one of the better teams in the area on Creekside. They want to focus on what they can control, their attitude, effort, being good teammates. And of course, you know deep down, they love to get a win after losing five straight to Creekside. Rivers. And Collier back into the game for Creekside as Tucker and Andrew Jenkins check out. Williamson gets it in. Kieran fires from beyond the arc. No good from three. Patterson grabs the rebound for Creekside. Brings it up the court, fires across the court, lead from the left corner, three, good! Brennan Lee was waving his arms as he went down the left side of the court. Patterson spotted him, fired a perfect pass over the Bartram defense. Kieran on the other end responds with three points of his own. Twenty-one seventeen, Rivers on the Bartram Trail logo passes over to Deza Lee left going on the drive left baseline is Rivers Deza hauls in his pass Collier on the left side again driving in left block goes up with it shot no good Garen grabs the rebound Landon Garen trying to go all the way layup no good Ball loose on the rebound, but a foul be called on Alex Collier. No, Derek Rivers. Tessa checking out for Creekside. Ethan Tucker back into the game. Williamson. Couldn't get it in in time. Creekside ball. Timeout. Called on the floor by Bartram Trail. As we head into the break, our score, Creekside 21, Bartram 17. Back in 23 seconds, live on Schlick Sports. here at Bartram Trail High School. Bears with the ball down by four to the Creekside Knights. He's coming off the inbound, it's Sam Shields guarded by Derek Rivers, top of the key, finds Williamson. Williamson, a 60% three-point shooter, gets it in to Landon Guerin. Guerin, too much on his shot. Airballed it over the rim. On the other end, Ethan Tucker. Back outside, Collier wide open from distance. He got it! Alex Collier. Hits from downtown. 
24-17, Creekside leads by seven now. On the other end, a foul be called on Brennan Lee. Creekside's goal in this game early on. They wanted to get the crowd out of the game, run a few plays designed for easy baskets. Get points in the paint through transition. They found ways to score, but haven't gotten the crowd out of it. Barstrom's kept it very close. Creekside scored 70 points at least in each of their last two games against Bartram Trail. They're off to a fast offensive start tonight. It's on the other end, Guerin. No good from inside the paint. Garen Baylock on the other side, trying to bounce it down to Collier. It's stolen away. Shields, back outside. Wide open three, all the time in the world. And Souza drains it. Four seventeen to go in the first half. Baylock in the right corner, drives in on the baseline to the left corner, left wing, Rivers for three, looks good, is good! The three ball from Derek Rivers. He's got seven. Shields, dribbling with his right, down to the right block, blocked by Collier! And there goes Garrett Baylock. On the other end, I believe a whistle blew. Not sure what happened, but everyone kept playing. I think the game kept playing. Might have misheard it. It's Tucker for three. No good. Williamson to the left corner. Shields. Souza at the point, pass to the left wing. Williamson trying to go a little early. Now takes the screen. Right block going up with it. Shot no good from Souza. Three minutes on the clock. Rivers drives it into the paint. Now right corner for three. Won't matter. Tucker took an extra step. Bartram passing the ball around on the perimeter. Now a look from deep. No good from Williamson. Baylock trying to get the rebound. The ball's last touched on the baseline by Ben Labee. Creekside wanted to limit second chance opportunities. They've gotten the majority of defensive rebounds. Some of those have come where Bartram looks to have it, but they've just been aggressive. Once they get down to the floor. Tucker off the nice dish from Baylock. Finishes it off with his left on the teardrop. It's a nine point Creekside advantage. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Williamson. Michelson on the drive, his pass stolen by Patterson. Three on three, fast break. Patterson in the lane, dribbles back out, gives it to Tucker, left arc. Passed it down to Alex Collier on the left block, sets his feet, hook shot, good. Seven unanswered points from the Creekside Knights, and a draw. And Ethan Tucker draws a charge from Landon Jiren coming up the court. That's something you don't see too often. He didn't have the ball, and Tucker ended up on the floor. Nolan Nelson will 
check in for Garen Baylock. Bartram Trail in that last possession for Creekside. They were trying to trap the guards on the perimeter. That's Creekside. That's something Creekside was ready for. Trying to get them to pick up their dribble, coming across half court, and then block the passing lanes. It's Collier's jumper. Too much on it. Tucker grabs the rebound. Second chance opportunity. He finishes it off. Not sure there's many players who give as much effort on the court as Ethan Tucker. He's on the other end, the three no good. Bartram can't get a shot to fall. Collier blocks it. Third chance no good. Desna grabs the rebound. And jump ball will give Creekside the ball 46.1 to go in the second quarter. Tucker with 40 seconds to go in the first half of play. He and his Knights lead by 13. He goes on the drive, puts one up. Oh, what a drive. What a finish from Ethan Tucker. Looked like Derrick Rose right there. Fifteen point Creekside lead. Fifteen seconds on the clock in the second quarter. Rayo. On the drive, kicks to the left corner. Michelson for three, no good off the rim. Grabbing the rebounds, Rivers, five seconds on the clock. Tucker going on the drive. Tucker goes up, Tucker, no good off the glass. And the putback dunk to finish off the half. Nolan Nelson puts a capper on that second quarter for Creekside. It is 37-20. The Knights end the second quarter with 13 unanswered buckets. A statement run for the Creekside Knights as they head into the break with a big time lead over Bartram Trail. We'll step away for the halftime break. Be back after this. You are listening to Creekside Knights basketball live on Schlick Sports.
end of one here at Bartram Trail after one half Creekside with a 17 point advantage over Bartram Trail. Finish off that first half with a 13-0 run capped off by a Nolan Nelson put back dunk. Ethan Sucker led the way for Creekside with 13 points. Bartram Trail's offense started off fast. Couldn't really get anything going consistently in that second quarter. At one point, it's 24-20 at the end of the half. It's 37-20. All Creekside, Bartram Trail needs a way to respond when we return in two minutes and 25 seconds for the second half of action on Schlick Sports. Back here at Bartram Trail High School for the start of the second half of action between Creekside and Bartram Trail. Last time out in this matchup last year, Creekside won this one 84-57. And if Bartram Trail can't find a way to get some stops on defense and get something going offensively, this could very well be on the same track as last year's matchup. Going on the drive. Souza, Labie now with it, back outside. The three-pointer, no good from Shields. Collier brings down the rebound for Creekside. Ethan Tucker with the ball. He had a fantastic first half of action and Shields steals it away from Collier, taking it to the house. No good on the lay-in. Bartram still with it, second chance opportunity. Three second call is gonna be called on Bartram Trail. Tucker into that first half with 13 points. Taking charge, going on the drive. It's his pass right there, stolen away. Michelson lays it in on the other end. Two early turnovers for Creekside with the ball. That one turns into an easy transition basket for the Bears. Can't be doing that. Bring it up the court. Rivers. Pass it off to the right wing. Back to Rivers. Top of the key. Three. No good off the back of the rim. Collier grabs the rebound. Goes back up with it. Shot no good. Back outside. Rivers for three. No good. Rattles around and out. Tucker gets the rebound. Patterson's turn, trying to go on the drive, sees nothing. Back outside, it's Tucker on the right wing. Feeds it down to Collier. Collier back outside, Nelson 
to the top of the key. Right corner, three from Collier. That's no good. And finally, Bartram grabs a rebound. Guerin takes it the other way. Guerin drives in. Guerin goes up with it. Guerin lays it in. Got it on the floater. Tough to stop him barreling into the lane. Here's Tucker. Turning it around. Fouled on the shot by Sam Shields. Tucker will shoot two at the line. Already hit a couple from the foul stripe today. Now he's three of three. Second shot up. That one good. 39-24 now the advantage for Creekside. Here's a little B. Bounce pass. Nearly stolen away from behind, and there it is. Rivers trying to take it the other way. Derek Rivers into the lane. Floater, money. Derek Rivers has got a few steals out here tonight. Turns that one into a bucket. The shield spins around, trying to kick it to the right corner. They say it tips off the Creekside. Creekside didn't think so. 5.20 to go in the third quarter. It's 41-24. Creekside over Bartram Trail. As the pass goes off the hands of Souza, recovered by Shields. Shields passes to Labee. Labee's bounce pass rolling around. Michelson recovers. Shields wide open from distance. He got it. Timeout. Call now by Bartram Trail as they trail Creekside by 14 off to a nice start in the second half. When we return, you are listening to Creekside Basketball live on Schlick Sports. Back now at Bartram Trail High School, where the Bears trail Creekside by 14. The Creekside ball coming out of the break. Bartram Trails open up this third quarter with the 7-4 run. Nolan Nelson on the right block goes up with the, his shot tip. Collier comes down with the rebound, going back up. Ball tipped out by Collier. Bartram ball. Bartram trail trying to keep themselves in the game, chip away at this lead. 4:40 to go in the third quarter. Plenty of time to work with. Souza. That's a chance for an and one. That was Nelson's third foul. Head coach Chris Patterson for Creekside talked about wanting to see Nelson and Alex Collier stay vertical in those situations. Keeping their arms straight up, not being too aggressive, trying to block shots to help stay out of foul trouble. Nelson's been caught doing the opposite of that kind of Bending those arms down and over a few times already in this game, and he's back on the bench with three fouls. On the other end, Patterson no good from three. Derek Rivers over to Alex Collier.
Patterson works to the left wing, hands it off to Rivers. Rivers loses control of the ball. It's Souza going the other way. Souza fouled by Ethan Tucker. And Creekside will call timeout their second of the night and try to recover as Bartram Trail chipping away down 11 now to Creekside. Here in the third quarter, you are listening to Creekside Knights Basketball live on Schlick Sports. Back at Bartram Trail High School. 41 to 30, Creekside leads Bartram Trail. The Bears fighting back into the ball game, however. They were down seven, four minutes ago. Excuse me, 17. Now down by 11 is number 11, Souza. Cuts the lead to nine. They keep shipping away, staying in the game. Back down to a single digit lead for Creekside. They've struggled to find baskets coming out. The halftime break, just four points for them in the third quarter and we are four minutes. And 30 seconds in is Deza. No good from three. Going the other way. Guerin, good on the jumper. Forty-one thirty-four as Deza's pass stolen away. There goes Bartram, three on two. Driving in, Labee. No good, but he's going to the line. Bartram Trail has been getting turnovers on defense. Scoring the ball on offense. Creekside, they've yet to get into a rhythm like the one they were in to end the second quarter. 14 to four run for Bartram Trail. Opening up the second half. We got 3.09 to go in the third quarter. As Labee's no good on his first free throw. Second shot up, that's no good. Missed opportunity from the line there. From a 40% free throw shooter. Tucker feeds it down to Collier. Collier, two guarding him, kicks it back outside. Tucker trying to drive in on the baseline, back out to Lee, Lee for three, no good. Ball being tipped around, Collier keeps it with Creekside. Deza, over to Rivers who settles things down. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. A whistle. And a foul called on Labee. Rivers floats it up. Just a little too much on it, it's off the rim. Guerin, the other way, goes up, too much on it, put back good from Labee. Down 17, starting the quarter, down five, with 2.05 to go in the third. A lot of fight being shown by the Bears tonight. Collier working in the paint. Lee to Rivers. Rivers on the drive. 
Back outside, Tucker, pump fake, inside. Inbound stolen away by Guerin. Melee for the ball and Creekside comes away with it. Lee in transition, reverse, no good on the layup. Foul on the rebound, David Souza. One twenty-eight to go in the third. Jackson Williamson into the game. Tucker. Threw it away on the last inbound, gets it in this time to Deza. Deza lost control of the dribble. Back out to Rivers, Rivers. On the drive, Tucker. A little wild on the layup. Bartram's defense showing up in the third. Williamson for three, no good. Creekside barely comes away with the rebound. And Michelson called for a foul. Creekside in a dangerous spot right now. They've let Bartram back into the game. They can't seem to find a way. Get things going again on offense. Rivers on the drive to the right corner. Deza for three. That's no good. And Collier will be called for a foul going for the rebound. That's his third. So the Knights, six, seven, and six, eight starters, Nelson and Collier. Each with three fouls. With 43.8 to go in the third. Bars from student section, Shannon. Reps, we're sorry. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Williamson. I think that's gotta be the first time I've ever heard a student section apologize to the refs. As Lee passes to Rivers. Rivers on the drive. Shot is blocked. LeBee grabs the rebound. That's another thing Bartram's doing. They're limiting second chance buckets for Creekside in the second half. On the other end, LeBee catches in. One possession game as time expires in the third quarter. Excuse me, it was Souza on the bucket. It's a three-point game, a 14-point swing in the third quarter. Bartram Trail down 41-38 when we return on Schlick Sports.
Start of the fourth quarter here at Bartram Trail High School. Where it is 41-38. Creekside barely holding on as Bartram went on an 18-4 run there in the third quarter. After trailing 17 at the half, the Bears down by just three to start the fourth. Eight minutes to play. Two bitter district rivals, Bartram. No one on this roster has ever beaten Creekside. They're hungry, they got momentum, and they got the ball with the chance to tie. Patience on the perimeter for Bartram Trail, waiting for some to open up in the night zone. Gearin for three. Maha! My goodness! Tie game! Patterson on the other end for three. And this crowd is alive. After the air ball from Patterson, timeout Creekside. Oh, Bartram Trail in the second half, and they know it. 7 one to go, 41 all when we return on Schlick Sports. Bartram Trail showing fight, showing grit, clawing their way back into this game. Down 17 at half at 37-20. It's now 41-41 with 7-0-1 to go. Chris Patterson's message to the team in that huddle during the timeout. Slow it down. That's about all I can make up from the bleachers. He's a relatively calm demeanor in that huddle. He talked to me about keeping their composure, and it all starts with the coaches setting the example, trying to accomplish that in the huddle as Creekside seems to have a glass protector on top of the rim. They can't get anything to fall. On the other end, Bars from Camp Miss. They got the lead. From down 17 to up three. As Tucker traveled on the baseline. And the Knights can't find an answer, just four second half points. And that's compared to 24 from Bartram. Labee on the drive. Labee, no good. Patterson gets the rebound. Patterson. Moving screen is going to be called on Nolan Nelson. He's got one more foul to give. And he's got 5.45 to play. Rivers now called for a foul. And this Creekside team does not know what hit him.
Souza in the lane, pass to the left corner. Back inside, Michelson stolen away by Lee. Lee, bounce pass over to Tucker. Ethan Tucker to the corner, feeds it down to Nelson. Nelson lays it in. First bucket, and I believe over five minutes for Creekside. One point game. On the other end, Souza. Right wing. Drives in on Nelson, turns it around, trying to go up for a shot. Shot short, Nelson blocks the put back, and a foul called in the lane. And that's his fifth. And Nolan Nelson is done for the night. And he is in shock. Five minutes to go. Creekside now without their leading scorer and rim protector. And Souza, after missing the first free throw, can't hit the second. Ethan Tucker, fires to the corner, Dez is there. He's gonna have to step up for the Knights. Tucker fires a three, Tucker short on the three. This is gonna be a test for the Knights. Deza fires from distance. No good, Collier grabs the rebound, put back, good! One point lead. For three. Garen, no good. Bartram will get the ball back. Cade Patterson comes in for Brennan Lee. And a timeout called by Bartram, each team with just two remaining. One point Knights lead as they try to survive. Up one on the road. Back here at Bartram Trail High School. Four minutes remain, and Bartram Trail, after being down 17 at the half, now Trail Creekside by just one after taking the lead. This is a Knights team that came in averaging 65 a game. This is also a Knights team after putting up 37 in the first half. Almost 12 minutes into the second half, they've only managed eight. Mean outscored 24 to eight. In the second half of play by Bartram Trail. And now with Nolan Nelson out with five fouls. Test of resiliency tonight against their district rivals on the road with the crowd as fired up. Three and a half minutes to go. Shields on the drive. Shields is fouled. I 
I tell you, this gym, cinder block walls, the big barn style roof. This sound reverberates in here. It's Guerin. Has got 19. Now three point Bartram advantage. For three on the other end, Rivers no good. Collier can't get the bunny to go. He gets fouled. You get baseline inbound. Knights cannot get shots to fall from anywhere. Bartram allowed way too many second chance buckets. In the first half, much more aggressive getting rebounds in the second half. 3.02 to go, it's 48-45 Bears. Rivers gets it into Patterson, in the right corner for three, rattles in and out. Patterson grabs the rebound, back outside, Rivers for three. He got it! Derek Rivers gets a much needed three for Creekside. Shields driving in, fouled by Rivers. He's shooting a one and one. No, he's shooting two. I believe they got rid of one and ones this year. If I remember a rule change from last spring. Man, Bartram, they'd have a They'd have the lead right now if they'd be shooting consistently at the free throw line. They are under 50%. Can almost guarantee you on the night. There's been two trips to the line where they've gotten nothing. Right there, they get the one point lead. Tucker on the drive. Tucker has nothing. Ball stolen away. After 13 first half points for Tucker, he's got just two in the second half. Gearin, jump shot, good. Three point lead for the Bears, 2.05 to go. Baylock, no good on the drive. Baseline inbound for Creekside. Creekside has just not hit those shots down by the basket in the second half there. Just nothing working. Patterson to Tucker. Tucker on the drive. Back outside to Baylock. Garen Baylock. Turns it around. Fouled on the drive. One forty-three to go. Tucker gets it in. Derek Rivers now fouled. Being real kind of stingy with those blocking fouls on the drive. Call them both ways. Pass nearly stolen away. Patterson shot blocked in the corner. Another Creekside inbound forthcoming. Knights down three. 119 to go. Tucker gets it in the Collier. Rivers with it. 
Pass a little wild and it goes out of bounds. Miscommunication with Patterson. Timeout Creekside, 112 to go. Bartram with the chance to make it a two possession game when we return on Schlick Sports. It was 2021 that Creekside snapped their five-game losing streak to Bartram Trail. The Knights have won five straight versus the Bears. The last two by wide margins. Bartram, after being down 17, have come back. They got a three-point lead with 1.10 to go in the fourth quarter. Timeout Bartram. Clock ran a little long. They're gonna have to reset that. Back after this on Schlick Sports. So they reset the clock to 105 when really the timeout was called with 110 to go. Five seconds lost and now Bartram with the ball trying to make a two possession game. Foul in the lane. Two free throws coming for David Souza, 67% free throw shooter. Possession ball game. Second shot. Oh, so good. Clutch at the line. David Souza. Creekside needs a bucket. 55 seconds to go. Tucker on the drive. Back outside. Patterson for three. Patterson, no good. Bartram ball. 50.2 to go. Deza in for Patterson. Kieran gets it in. Foul is going to be called on Creekside. Two free throws coming. 47 and a half to go. Number 
First shot, no good. Sam Shields at the line. Second shot from Shields. Good. 54-48. It's Tucker trying to drive in. Lays it up. He'll shoot two. 40.1 on the clock. Tucker's got 16 on the night, just three in the second half, all from the line. Second shot good. As Lee checks in for Patterson. Guerin gets it in. Pressure on Shields. Shields breaks through three Knights defenders on the other side. Foul by Lee. He'll shoot two, 34.1 to go. Shields came into the night, two of two at the line. Just was one of two on his last trip. First shot up, that's good. Second shot for Sam Shields. Oh, so good. 56-50. 30 seconds to go. Tucker to Lee. Lee's pass stolen. Souza goes up, lays it in. Dagger. 17 to go. Tucker drives in. Floater, no good. Souza. Gets it in, Baylock's there, he puts it in it with seven seconds to go. Time running out. As Bartram Trail intentionally fouled with two seconds to go. Up six. They're gonna knock off Creekside after losing five straight to the Knights. A show of grit, determination, and in the end, Bartram just seemed to want it more. Outscoring Creekside 38. To 15 in the second half. Be hurt, he's gonna have to come out. Williamson in the shoot. His shot good, but they don't count it, I think. Stepped inside the arc. Freakside down six, two seconds to go. The sucker dribbles out the clock. And Bartram defeats Freakside at home, coming back from a 17 point deficit and defeating the Knights. 58-52, what a win for the Bears. And for the Knights, a tough pill to swallow on the road. Heading into the weekend, the Knights fall to five and one. Bartram moves forward to three and one on the season as they win the only district showdown between these two of the year, 58-52. That'll do it for our coverage of the battle along Lee Pine live from Bartram Trail High School. I am Noah Schlicksup signing off, saying good night from Bartram Trail.